top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patty's Day. We're trying to bring a little of St. Patrick's Day to you this morning. Great to be here at uh, Rebels Rock in Hamilton. Great to have local musician Chris Kerba with us this morning. He's going to be playing, playing this uh, into segments and, and out, out of segments. We also got uh, the owner himself, Troy Chapman. How you doing, sir? What's up, Troy? How are you, Not buddy? Not much, buddy. Not much. It's uh, doing good. Okay, so I'm. You gave it to me when I walked in here for the first time and said I'd never been I in did here so. before. I was going to say, as soon as you turn the corner, have you ever been in here before? Yeah. Shame on you. Well, when you look at it, it's... Uh, Shame. Yeah. This is an Irish pub, right? This is, a, this, this is an authentic looking spot that's been around since 2002. Two. Two. Right? Just yeah. celebrated a birthday uh, earlier this week. Yesterday. Did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so 19 years. There you go. Well, congratulations Thank to that you. because in this business, this is something. And you're still here after the year that you've had. Still here. Right? After the year we had. It's, it's funny. My staff member, uh, uh, Jackie, was just in the other day and uh, she was saying, you know, since the last year, the, the St. Patrick's was canceled, right? Right. Like there was Because it happened, it was right around that. Yeah, so, so a positive note, she said, I guess this year we're going to beat that last year's numbers, aren't we? <laughs> so there you go. Of course. <laughs> is, right. that, uh, is that Kate so, over there? Kate peeking well, around Kate the corner? There's right, yeah, Kate. Yes, yes, right yeah. on, she's in the kitchen cooking, so good yeah. to see you, Kate. Yeah. What, are, what are you guys doing this year? Not a lot. Okay. Uh, you're allowed to have people in a limited amount. Ten. Right? It's ten. So you're already sold out of that. Sold out, obviously. Right. Um, right. What's... In a normal year, what's St. Patrick's Day like? Insane. Do you enjoy it? Or is you know it what? one of those days you kind of dread? Because you know. You know what? A little bit of both. Yeah. A little bit of both. It's fun once it gets here. You know, leading up to it, it's a lot of work, yeah. you know? Uh, especially all the cooking and, and, and getting everybody, uh, you know, the, the Irish dancers that come every year and, and that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a big day. It's a yeah. huge day. It's like Christmas for us, right? right. Everybody in this business. Uh, on that day, but uh, it can be hectic. But once it's once it's here, it's fun. You know, you you you're pumping, the right. adrenaline's going, and then the next day it's just a, you take a big breather, and then you just you know, like that's over. Thank God, you know, because right. it's it's you prepare for it so much, and it's such a big big day. It really yeah. is. It really okay. is. Well, uh, we're trying to bring as much as it uh, to you at, at home because yep. uh, yeah, as as we said, they're they're sold out in here. Um, so we got we got Chris with us. I know I know Kate's in the kitchen cooking away because she's yep. got uh, a shepherd's pie, a true true shepherd's Irish pie. Shepherd's pie. Yeah, yeah, shank. Yeah. We'll get into that. Yeah. I want to maybe pour a, a pint. Sure. To Guinness. We'll see if we can both we do, do that. that, and then we'll okay. get into some Irish lingo. We come yep. back to uh, Rebels Rock in Hamilton. Take it away, Chris. Care about a morning life. Well, drinking green beer is one of the most common St. Patty's Day activities, <laughs> but drinking a pint of Guinness should be. But how do you pour it properly? Just like that, Tim. Uh -huh. Okay, there's, there's my that. line. That's still going to cascade just a touch, but that should uh, that should do it. Back here at uh, Reynolds yeah, Rock, just like that. the master himself. Well, you don't put a little you. fancy little shamrock or anything on that. No diddling in the head here at Rebels Rock. Haven't done that for 19 years. Not going to start now. No. Okay. No. So that's no shamrocks. Okay. No green beer either. No green beer. Not here. I, I, not if you're authentic. You don't put the I, green. I like okay. it. All right. That's just like the way it. we do it. I, I feel like okay, I'm going to give it a try. So you take, go. You, you, you take your pint. Do I need anything else when I'm if I'm pouring a pint of Guinness here? In, in what sense? Well, I was going to say, do I need a Oh, a, yeah, a you know what? You do need, like you that? do need that uh, special head attire. Oh, yeah, there oh, it is okay, there. there. Let's go. put that okay, on. Put that on Get there. that going. You know, I feel like I might need a little music, a little, uh, well, little, let's little go. background Let's music. do it. we got Chris Kerber here, also a little Hamilton okay. musician. So there you go. You got your glass. Okay, so okay. so yeah. First step here is what? So Pour. you want to keep that to a 45 degree angle. Yeah. Go ahead. Turn that down. Yeah, let that go. Nice that, little coating there, yeah. And yeah. Then as that starts to flow, okay, well, no, you shouldn't let that down, but that's Don't okay, Tim, it's your first time. Shut it off now, hurry up quick. Shut, shut all right, up. there you go, all right. Okay, what did I do wrong? You don't want you don't want to be set. We got no. Yeah. We got Kate. Oh, Kate's in the background. The peanut gallery back yeah. here telling me what I'm doing wrong. You would call that like a drop pour, and you don't want that. You're gonna get you're gonna create a lot of head that way. So you want to control that by by keeping your 45 at all times, Keep right? Keep that 45. Keep that okay. 45, and stay that stay there until you're and then and then turn it off and let it sit. Why why do we go through this whole process with the Guinness? <sighs> what is it about a Guinness that you, that you want to be doing all these steps? Well, it's a cream. It's a cream ale, right? It's a cream um, uh, stout. So you're gonna. You, you, you have to, it, it, that's just the way this, this beer pours. You, you know, you can't pour it like, um, even, you know what, even a domestic beer, a Budweiser is going to do the same thing, right? It, you, if, you, if you take a Bud and you drop pour that too, you're going to have head like this and like that much beer, right? So go ahead and pick go? that back up. Okay, on the 45. Sure. Right, go ahead. Like that. Yeah, so, and, and start to angle it down a bit. Okay. Okay, and I'll stop. Perfect. There. Here you go. That's the second step. 
That's there's pretty no, much the same. There's, 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 there's like three, 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 maybe a crown at the end if you, you know, if you haven't gone so too far. So all told, how long would it take to pour a proper pint? Well, they say 119.5. 119.5. So on a yeah. busy St. Patty's Day, you yep. would have these different stages. You'd have them. Oh yeah, 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 you'd have to. Yeah, you'd have to, or else you'd be, you'd be having thirsty people back there, hitting you with your, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Grabbing you by your pigtails there. Well, it, it, there is always a saying, though, yeah. too, and, uh, you don't have to worry about the Guinness getting warm. No, nope. well, they're kind of warm anyway. They're kind of warm anyway. Right? They are in the, the walk-in, but, okay. you know. Okay. They, Just because of time purposes. You I'm just finish it off, Tim. I'm going to put the finishing touches on yeah. here like that. Right like that? Are you going to wait one more time? No, you're just no. I'm, I'm, I'm going Oh, you're rogue. good. No, that's good. Yeah. I'm going can... rogue. Let's set that. I'm, set it down. I'm going to set this down over by Chris. He's going to play us the break to these fine little Guinnesses. Okay, these well, Guinnesses may be consumed. Well in the uh, in the bridge <laughs> and we'll see what we get up to when we come back Tim, Tim that looks pretty good Tim you just you didn't crown it but it looks good Rebels Rock get All it right. looks it take it away Chris happy St. Right. Patrick's Day everybody In Hamilton, getting you set for St. Patty's Day. We got these pints here, Troy. Got these pints, yeah. Right? Salancha. Salancha. All right. Okay. Hopefully, this is the, hopefully this is the one you poured. Let's do it. Okay. You better have a mustache. Oh, is that, is, is that the oh there okay. you go. Mm -hmm. That's good and proper. How's that taste, Tim? Mm. That's yeah. pretty darn tasty, That's isn't, nice, it? isn't it? Okay, we talked to Troy earlier on. Brilliant. The real, the real boss woman of this place is uh, is Kate. Hello, Kate. Uh -huh. How are you? No, it's a, it's an equal affair. Is it? Is it? Okay. I don't know. But we want to get into like the Irish lingo because we said. Sal well, you just said cilantro. So cilantro is a greeting. It's, it's a greeting. It's a salutation. It's a, a positive one, uh, not a negative one. We have enough negative ones. <laughs> so whenever you're cheering someone, um, when you greet them for the when you see them at the beginning of the day or you're passing them on the street. It's cilantro, 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 cilantro. Cilantro. Yeah, cilantro. cilantro. Okay. Uh, what are some other ones? What are some other good ones? Falsha. Falsha. Is welcome, like welcome to the pub. So if they're coming in, say you say to me, Falsha! Falsha, Falsha come on in. Yeah. Okay. Unless right. you don't want them in. What do you say then? <laughs> Pogue Mahone. <laughs> and we're probably going to get in trouble for that, are we? No, because I'm not going to translate it. Oh, you're not going to translate it. Uh, anyway, my Irish friends. You want to have all your mothers lo love you. <laughs> um, what, are, what are some other good ones? Let's say on a, on, a, on a day like St. Patrick's Day, when you get a lot of people in here, all different types of nationalities and things, but look, when, what type of, what are you hearing? Uh, basically hear everyone saying that on this day, everyone's Irish. Yeah. Um, probably like on Bobby Burns Day, everyone's Scottish. Scottish. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of what's, you know, some of the terms that we told people to leave with right. get said, and people just don't understand what it truly means. Yeah. Do you we, have a fave? Do you have a favorite? Did you just say it? Um, my favorite Irish term, Chara. Chara. My friend. Your friend. Chara. Chara. Yeah. What was the other one we were saying off camera? Oh, crack. Oh, crack. Everything's okay. crack. We've got good crack, bad crack. None of it goes up your nose, though. What's the, what is crack? Just crack is banter. It's the so if, the, you know, if, a, if a pub like Rebels Rock, it's got good crack. It's got good crack. You know, it's it's happening. Yes. stuff stuff is going on here. Yeah, if nothing's going on, people will come in and say say you walk into a a, a bar, or a pub, or a restaurant, or what it is you frequent because yeah. they're all different. And oh, the crack in here is horrible. Let's leave. <laughs> it's because it's dull. You know, nothing's going on. Rebels Rock is never dull. Even no. though there will only be 10 people in here, and unfortunately... It'll be good crack. It will be good crack. They're sold out, though, but you're still doing takeout, right? Yeah. And let's, get, let's take a break, and we'll come back and show off what you got uh, spinning okay. up in the, uh, in the kitchen. And Sounds we got, good. Uh, I'm going to get back to this fine pint yeah. while we listen to uh, Hamilton musician Chris Caraba on this St. Patty's Day. party here on the St. Patty's Day. Great to be at uh, Rebels Rock with Kate, uh, who's the master in the kitchen, um, prepping all the, uh, the the feast for uh, for, for St. Patty's Day. And we're talking shepherd's pie, okay? Shepherd's and pie. And there's shepherd's pie 
done properly and improperly. Shepherd's pie that you make is done how, Kate? With lamb. Shepherd's pie has to have lamb in it. I start off with a roasted leg of lamb, which is in this pot right now, Let's all oh, chopped up. Oh, and it's not ground, it's just chopped up. So you're getting nice big no, chunks in there. You're getting chunks. You're not getting ground okay. lamb. I also see some uh, corn. Yeah, we've got some corn in there. Then we've got minced beef and minced pork. Oh, so you still put those in there too? Yes. With the, with the lamb. Three different types of meat. What if you're just using these type of meat? Well, that's not a Then it's pie. cottage pie. Cottage pie, right. Cottage pie. And then there's our vegetables. So then the veg all goes in there. Yep. And the, that's root vegetables. So we've got carrots and onions in there. And then I get my muscle man, Troy, to do a stern stir and mix it all up. Right. Then we put it in one of our bowls. OK, you got one in there? Let's pull yep. that out, because that's been sitting in there for a little bit. And we top oh, it with our wow. mashed potato, which we call poundy. Poundy, OK. Yeah. So that is, that is Rebels Rock Shepherd's Pie. Right. OK, so that's one thing. What else you got going on? It's another lamb dish. This is lamb shanks. OK. So in here, we've got a steamed up one. This is just you in here doing your thing. Yeah, it's all really? by myself. You love it? Yeah, I love it. Just kind of yeah. in the kitchen doing your thing. Oh, yeah. amazing. This uh, is pre-lamb shanks. Yeah. They're, okay. not, they're not cooked yet. They're about to go in now for tomorrow. Okay. I've got a couple of trays of that. Right. So let's take that lamb shank out of there and throw it on the, what was the name for the potatoes again? Poundy. Poundies. Throw that on the poundies. And we got, do you have a little bit of... Is there gravy that goes on there too? Yep. Mm -hmm. You can put it right there. Right there. Okay. And again, we've got root vegetables. So you guys do do curbside, right? Oh, yes, we do. Fantastic. We do curbside. Um, we're not as, you know, we, we don't like to use other services, just ourselves. Right. That way I know what is going out to you. Exactly. And hey, you want to take this, let's take this out front. I'm going to do a crack of pepper on both. Chris, you want to lead the way? Lead the way. Let's go back out front. Serenade us here. Chris, you got that. I got the, I got the shepherd's pie. Back out front here. Hey, it's Troy Man in the bar. Oh, he's got a fancy looking hat. Hey, you got one. Oh, look at this. A fresh, a fresh pie in front of me here too. Now. Wow, wonderful. Do you want mint sauce with that? Sure. I grow the mint in my backyard. Oh, do you really? Eh? In, depending on the it's time of year, um, my, my backyard goes into my kitchen. Oh, I have really? a garden back there. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I'll go get your mint sauce. Do that. Well, happy St. Patty's Day. Okay. Happy St. Patty's great, great, Day. Great seeing you. Thanks so, thanks so much, Troy. Chris, uh, where can people find any of your music? Uh, we're online. We're at Spotify and iTunes, Tartan Terrors, and Eclectic Revival. Thanks for being here today, man. Appreciate you want to, want to play us out to break? Sure. Let's do it. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Enjoy the day. Mm -hmm.